Okay, here we are. I've cleaned it up with some rags and a brush and got most of the gunk off. I don't own a gurney or anything like that. And I don't, I don't see why I should wet it unless it's caked in mud. So what I've all we're gonna do is I'm gonna undo this nut here and it's a 16 mil but not take it completely off. And then you got these four bolts here and I see 18 mil suits it. That way we're gonna take off the steering knuckle. In the parts book from Dong Fong it's called a linking arm but we'll call it a steering knuckle today. We're also going to put a jack right underneath the final drive here separate to this yellow stand because when we take this off something's going to possibly fall through it could be the kingpin or something so we need the jack there to support it. Alright, as I said, 16 mil at the top. Alright, 18 mil with the driver. Let's see how we go. Jesus. They're done up tight. You can see why mechanics use torque wrenches. There we go. The longer bar gives us more leverage. I'm not quite sure what's going to fall out here, but my feet are out of the way. Safety first. Alright. A nice washer there. Now, I don't know what you guys do, but I've got a big tray here. Looks like a baking tray, but it's not. The missus would kill me if I took that. And I just put everything in there and line it up in some sort of order so that when I've got a million parts at the end, I might be able to follow my way backwards. I even take a picture on my camera or phone for later reference. And if you can see over here, I even lay the tools out in that way. Not sure what happens here, we shall find out. Alright, see we got there, so the nut's still there, haven't taken it all the way off. And if you look under there, you can see why it's going to come straight up. There's those bits that are, those, those golden bits, dowels or something, somebody said, I just call them downward bits. They're part of this top assembly and they go into those holes further down there. I hope that makes sense everyone. So good stuff we've got to that bit so far. I want you to twist around, I want you to get up. 
trouble. We'll see what transpires. Move them. Aha! Right, let's be very careful here. Apparently there's a ball bearing in there somewhere. I'm not sure where. Nut. Come on, mate, they're going to come off. Very close, but it's not going straight. Right, what lives under here? You can see grease in there. I'll put the nut back on top so I remember. I keep getting told to make sure I don't lose that ball bearing on top. So I'm watching closely in case it flies out. This is the easiest part of the job so far. This top cover is moving quite easily. Alright, can you see the ball bearing in there? Right, so we seem to have a cover. That's like that, and I'll get a picture of what's in here. All I can say is gulp with what I can see in here. All right, have a look at that. There's some serious stuff in there. As I could have used a bigger screwdriver. Interesting. So you saw that that air impact 
wrench, whatever you want to call it, did the job. So what's next? I don't know. Let's have a look. Take this bolt out. It's as if something's going to fall apart. Not at all. And there's that uh, lock washer as they call it. So I nearly forgot how's this whole thing going to split apart if I don't get rid of this drag link it's called in the book. I thought it was a steering arm and we start by undoing this nut here so let's give that a crack. So we've got a split pin in there. Hopefully it doesn't cause us too many dramas. The tractor's only a couple of years old. A very special little hammer here goes back a few generations in my family. I'm not left handed so this is awkward. Okay, let's put that somewhere separate. 21mm. Wow, wish everything else was that easy, you beauty. So I'm just undoing that till there's only a little bit of thread left. One I've been told. That'll do, that's close enough. Alright, we missed it because I was banging away for so long but I basically had this crowbar in under here just to push that tie rod, I think it's called, upwards and at the same time it was difficult being a right hander I was banging away here on that trapezoid arm and as you can see now it's loose, we can take it off and move on. <laughs> and another problem we have now, as you can't see, is all the way down here, the bar is hitting the bottom of the... just, just back from the diff where the drive shaft comes out. Anyway, it doesn't matter because once we drop this, it'll all drop away. Well, we're seeing a bit of daylight here. The jack's not right on there. So that's not what's stopping it. You can see we're trying to achieve, there's a better one, separation here between this part and this part. The jack is not fully supportive yet because I need it to come down a bit. So what I've been doing is I'll show you. I 
a lot of this. This is all I can think of. As you can see, the gap's getting bigger. I'll just keep doing that till it finishes, all right? Oh, we must be close. I think we're done. You saw it drop. So we're going to drop the jack now a little bit so we can break here. Slowly. Alright, I've removed the steering arm, now I can turn it around. I've got the jack just under, because this should all fall off in a minute. It's going to be bloody heavy, I'm not looking forward to catching it. But, we're going to do these things. Done. All right, we're done. Jesus, there was some banging and crashing there. <sighs> anyway, so there's the top part, and there's the bottom part. And now we know why there was a jack to be used. This whole thing here weighs a lot, and you don't want it falling onto the deck or onto your feet. And there's a lot of delicate stuff in here. Okay, we're done there. We'll put that up onto the bench for a better look.